Megan Fickett, and I'm a human factors engineer. We design the systems that the operators at the plant will be using. So in our case, we're mainly focusing right now on the control room. So we have a full scale simulator that shows physically what the operators will be interacting with. And then we're also working on designing the screens that the operators will be interacting with. So we're focusing on what information they need to get in order to do their tasks, and then how best to present that information. Our mission is to drive the global transition to clean energy with safe, reliable, zero carbon nuclear technology. The audiovisual portion of what we were doing was building the control room to where it's functional for operators to operate the nuclear power plant. There's nothing really like this out there that is in operation for nuclear power plants. Having this main control room available for future operators to train in is going to be essential. Rather than being in an analog space when you're all digital, that can open yourself up to the possibility of technology failing, and we don't want to have that. So we're trying to make sure that our control room is able to be operated 24 hours a day in a supportive environment. It's consistent, it's reliable for the operator, and then it allows us to do what we need to do, providing them cutting edge human machine interfaces. You can't operate a power plant without a control room. So it was very, very important in terms of how we built this project out and giving us a space to prototype the main control room. We chose CTI and the experience we had was really fabulous because they had the knowledge on installing and the capabilities and the different functions that we could utilize for the Barco displays. We know that we can continue to rely on CTI for support in terms of digital work or any sort of installation work that needs to happen because we're going to continue to make these facilities, hopefully, <laughs> that's the goal. This is my first time working in a facility where we've had these type of resources available and it is a huge help. It's a massive undertaking to try to make all of these displays and then not know how they're going to look on the finished product. So by having the simulator here that is so closely mirroring what we're going to have in a real plant, this allows us to just immediately see what our work is going to look like in, in real life.